Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Skylar. If you're new here, welcome. So today we have a really odd, funny, great story and it's not clickbait. As you see as the title of the video says, I went to Christmas dinner at my Uber driver's house. Watched my vlog, which was zoo lights with my ex and missing my flight. Then you would know that I was supposed to go down to Oregon for Christmas. I was really excited about it. I took a whole week off of work. I was gonna go see my family and my friends and I had it all planned out, but I missed my flight. I was very upset. Uh, my flight has been missed. All my Christmas plans are thrown <laughs> down the drain. So here's the vlog miss day one. Uh, who knows what it's gonna have in it because I'm not doing any of the things that I had planned anymore in Oregon. So stay tuned. I lost my shit in the airport. Like literally, I was a little bit dramatic. I was a little bit loud. I was a little bit hostile, not towards anybody, but like on the phone to my sister. Like I was like causing a ruckus. Like I was yelling on the phone. I was crying. I was a mess. Then my sister ordered me an Uber and I get in the Uber to go home. And my Uber driver, which I'm going to use code names just because I'm not 110% sure if any of them want me to use their real names. However, I don't have anything bad to say about them. But for the sake of the video, I will name him Bob. So now my Uber driver, Bob, he's super nice and he can obviously see that I am very upset and he like asks me what's wrong and I tell him and he's very sorry, you know, he, he makes me feel a little bit better. Then I just continue riding in the Uber. It's a pretty silent ride, not gonna lie. I'm kind of just like sniffling back there on my phone and when I'm about to get out of the car towards the end of the ride, he starts talking to me and he invites me over to his family's house for Christmas. He says, you know, we have a really nice Polish family. My wife would definitely not want anyone alone for Christmas. So let me give you my wife's number. And if you would like to come to Christmas, you can reach out to her and we'd love to have you. And so I'm like, okay, like that's awesome. And me, I'm definitely the type of person where when something bad happens, I have to see like a positive side out of it. I'm like, everything happens for a reason. So if something bad happens, then I just know that there it's for a reason and it's going to lead me to something. So I know a lot of people would probably be like, oh wow, my Uber driver just invited me to dinner, like, and no thank you. And they would probably like, just throw the number away and not think about it. But I'm definitely more of an intuitive type of person. And when opportunities like this or situations like this come up, I definitely like to give them a chance. I like to see where they go. And so as I started telling my friends and my sister, I was like, yeah, so I got invited to, a dinner by my uber driver you know this is a really um this is a really unfortunate circumstance that i missed my flight so i definitely am going to go to this and hopefully that these connections are valuable and it will just make sense on why this needed to happen and i was looking at it as you know these people i meant to meet them for whatever reason so i'm going to go meet them and see where it goes, which is exactly what I did. Uh, right when I started talking to the wife on the phone, she was super sweet. And I don't know if I've mentioned in one of my other videos, but real estate is definitely something that I'm trying to get into on the side uh, because it's something that makes really good money. And you guys know I wanna have a lot of streams. I want to have a lot of stuff working for me. So real estate is definitely something that I've been wanting to get into. And I've actually made a lot of connections over the past few months with people who do real estate. And so they told me that they do real estate and it was like, oh my God, really? Like, okay, that's the first sign. They do yoga, they do meditation. Their daughter is 25. She's also a Leo and she owns her own crystal shop in super cute crystals, like the most gorgeous crystals. 
but their other one of their other their son has like their own like car wrapping business like they are all very goal oriented people they're all you know money motivated they're all like-minded people and it's like it's just wow the whole time i'm thinking i'm like law of attraction is so real and the crazy thing is this uber driver bob he started driving three days before this happened so like three days so he just started driving for uber and yeah it's just crazy so i go to this dinner and there's probably about 20 to 25 family members i would say and shortly after i get there the mom is like telling me that her son wraps cars and that one of the guys that he like wraps cars for has a lot of really nice cars and so he like lets him borrow a new car every week so the car of the week was a porsche and she asked him if he would take me on a ride so we go on a ride in the car in the porsche we go 130 miles and i'm sorry michelle if you're watching this he only went 90. <laughs> but um we went 130 30 miles it was really fun and then we came back they had a white elephant gift exchange and they had an extra gift that they used for me so that i could participate and this is like a really really nice white elephant gift exchange at first i ended up with like a 70 dollar <laughs> vacuum but thankfully it got stolen from me because i don't have carpet and then i ended up with a box with a huge huge candle like this big it smells amazing it's a coconut like fruity blend i got a white like polar fleece blanket i got these six really nice whiskey glasses and i got coasters so and then they sent everyone home with a bag of cheese and wine like talk about how sweet and then oh my god the food the food guys this was like the best last christmas dinner before going vegan that i could have ever imagined because like i'm very picky and so they had a whole meat counter with like turkey ham meatballs i didn't touch any of that i wasn't about that but then they had this whole table with bruschetta brie salami all sorts of cheeses and meats bomb ones and then they had a fruit platter and you could take fruit and you could eat it or you could put it in your champagne or your rosé and they had all these dips they had they had this really good broccoli salad carrot salad they had so much food guys they had bottles of different kinds of whiskeys on the counter everyone was so welcoming and everyone was like just so it was such good vibes and then uh well one of the, the people is just asking me like what i like to, like what i do and i'm like you know giving them the list of the things i do and then when i'm talking about we are limitless i tell them that i'm in the process of trying to just find someone to make me a logo and one of the guys literally has his own logo business and he's gonna make me a logo i actually I have a napkin right here with the start of it. We're gonna get rid of the emblem, the circle, but originally I thought the I thought that the WAL was gonna be like diagonal, but he came up with that and I really like it. So he's gonna be putting colors in there and he's gonna make three different kinds and see which one I like. So that's really exciting. I my intuition was right, like my this is people I need to meet that was definitely right because these are people who I think of are as like you know they're gonna be mentors to me in a way but they're also gonna be like family to me friends like it's just it's a great great connection that happened and I'm very grateful so I thought this was a really interesting story time just because it's really you know odd um very uncommon and I think a lot of people I don't look at these kind of situations the same way I do, but I, I hope that this video can kind of be a lesson to start looking th at things from a different point of view because a lot of people would just be like creeped out, like, oh no, like whatever. But like literally, the law of attraction is so real and the people that need to be in your life are going to find their way into the life. Like the universe will push people into your life and the universe will have things happen for a reason and it's just so important to like believe in that stuff and actually 
feel that from within because if you do it's going to it's it's really just going to change the way you perceive and see situations and you're going to push yourself further so i hope that like this kind of encourages you to you know maybe jump out of your comfort zone the next time something like this happens because it can definitely be something that can be overlooked as like something odd and something weird when really if you get the feeling from it that it could be something important it it probably is um i don't know if i'm like kind of rambled a little bit right there but you know you, you can put up you can pick up what i'm putting down like it's definitely just important to give people a chance like people nowadays are just so closed off and so so hesitant about <laughs> you know being open with strangers and i don't think that's how it should be like we literally we are all like a human race and we we really should all just spread love and positivity and that's how connections grow and that's how you know that's how great 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 relationships come about it's just giving people the chance and they gave me the chance to come over to their house and you know i gave them the chance of trusting them as well and now they have, you know, a new little daughter in the mix. <laughs> and I, no, just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, and also, who knows, I might eventually, like, interview their daughter with the shop on, the, on my We Are Limitless channel. I'll probably maybe interview my logo maker if he wants to be interviewed about his business. But, like, no, literally, I'm just really happy. And I hope that this video can encourage my subscribers to hop out of their comfort zones a little bit and to see the positives in any situation that arises so, all right guys so that was the story of me having christmas dinner at my uber driver's house this year thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and leave a comment below of your craziest uber story i would love to hear it so please leave a comment below and I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy. Please like, comment, and subscribe because it really does mean the world to me. But I will see you guys next time and I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Bye. Bye.